So I locked it to 2130. And we're going to run a benchmark, see if it crashes or not. So the clock speed is still going down a little bit because of the voltage being used elsewhere, not just in the loading screen. So it's got a 90 megahertz um, core overclock. So it's also you still utilizing GPU boost to a certain extent. DLSS is on, so is ray tracing. Everything is maxed out. 1440p. So it's still over 2 gigahertz. Now the market is where if I had too much of an overclock um, it would crash there, but I think that's just pushing the card too far. From what I've seen, uh, Founders Editions also have a, uh, a difficult time getting up over like 2130, 2140 core clock stably. So I know I'm only going to run one benchmark, but um, just to show that if it was really crashing constantly, it would probably crash here as well, just running one. And when it goes down into the market here where there's people walking around um, in the daylight, that's where it would crash if it was unstable. But with a 90 megahertz core clock overclock, it seems to be pretty, pretty good, so. See what happens. been holding over 2 gigahertz the whole time and right around here is where it would crash if it was unstable so this is on the new driver that was released on the 28th of September I don't know if there's been any more updates since then I'm pretty satisfied with this driver since it stopped the crashing issues so as you can see everything's running fine So let's see what the results are. Average frames 94, 1440p, RTX DLSS are on, everything's ultra high as it can go. So yeah, there's the core clock thing pretty much locked over 2 gigahertz to hold test. Um, I don't have time to run it for 10 hours constantly over and over. I might look into getting some other benchmarking software like, I don't know, Heaven or something and I could go away from it and let it run, but the driver seems to fix the issues. So, if you liked the video, like it, subscribe, have a nice day.